Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm gonna walk you through an automation which saves you a bunch of time when it comes to sending cold emails. It doesn't matter if the cold emails have like a generic pitch in, it doesn't matter if you wanna put a specific link in these that is tailored to the specific person you wanna send it to. This automation allows you to customize it and do just that. One of the worst things about prospecting is like the sheer amount of time that it takes. You know you've gotta do it, but it's just finding the time. And when you know something is gonna take you time to do, you're less likely to do it as well. At least that's what I find from my experience. So if you've been recording Loom videos, you've been storing them all in a spreadsheet and now you've got to send them out to everyone, this is the automation which does that for you. Before I walk you through that automation, I am using a software called RoboMotion where you can design your own automations in it. I've got a little link underneath this video that actually gets you a free trial. I do get a kickback from it, but Honestly, it's an amazing tool and I wouldn't share it unless it actually would help you as it's helped me. Now this right here is the spreadsheet containing this mock data which we're gonna send to people. I've got a few throwaway emails here just so I'm not actually sending out random emails to random people. And as you can see, we've got company one, example one, and we've got the name of the different types of clients as well. And we've also got a, a random Loom link as well, which I, I'm pretending that I'm sending to them. So Tim, this is his Loom link. Veronica and team, this is their Loom link. And now I'm gonna automate this process and get it sent to them through uh, their email addresses. So this is the automation right here. I've been setting it up for a load of different clients. I'm gonna run it through and then I'm gonna explain a little bit about it. So let's go and see its first run through. So what it's gonna do is it should read off this spreadsheet that we were just on here. It should go line by line and just send to each of the respective people. So what it should do first is it should open up a browser and go to my Gmail. You can see it's actually opened it on the other screen here. So it's opened up a brand new email here and the first person it should send it to is Rob Lally Consulting, which is one of my email addresses. I audited your social media, hope it helps. Now you've seen a little bit of a pause between each area and I've actually done that deliberately just so it's entering the email information. So we got, hey Tim, hope you're well, my name is Rob, blah, 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 blah. And then it shared the Loom link, it's just sent it to that person, and now it is going to actually go to the next one. See that it's gonna put the title in again in a second. I audited your social media, hope it helps. Hi Veronica and team, hope you're well, here's the video. Feel free to message me back. If not, I hope you got something out of the video. You see, it's just barreling through all of these. So the great thing about that is it's actually just barreling through that list I was just showing you automatically. It's just going to the first one, then it's going to the second one, it's going to the third one, and it's just moving along to the Loom link, putting that Loom link in the email, also realizing who the actual email is going to. So like Tim, it's like, hi Tim, hi Veronica and team. And it's putting that in the first bit there, tagging the Loom link, entering my message and clicking send. I don't have to do a single thing. So if I've got my data quite organized, like you should be doing if you're running a business, you know, organizing your data, because the more the data is organized, the quicker you can move. And I can easily bang out probably like 30 to 40 emails per hour doing this. And I'm not even looking at the screen. I don't have to do anything about it. If I'm working on my computer, I can be working in a completely different browser. Let's take a little look at the flow here just so you can see how it works. So in the config node, I've written the JavaScript that actually allows me to customize my message. Not only that, it allows me to import the person's name, the email address, and the Loom link. And that kind of all happens just with different parts of coding. And what we found with some of the clients that we set it up for, they wanna customize bits to it. They sometimes want to put the first name in the title of the email. Sometimes they want to put the first name a few times throughout. Sometimes they want to include multiple different Loom links at different parts. You can do that. Now, what I would say if you're considering reaching out to me for something like this or making one of your own, just be aware that over time, emails such as Gmail, they've got way, way, way more sophisticated at basically picking up on spam. So if you're planning to get this tool and just sending out 100, 200, 300 emails a day from all from one email address, it's probably not gonna work out very well for you because um, Gmail's gonna rapidly pick that up and be like, oh, hold on a minute, we think this person's spam, even if you're not spamming, right? 
Um, so just be aware of that. I'd read into like email deliverability before you do anything like that just because you wanna be on the safe side. If you wanna get this flow, you've got two real ways to actually reach out to me. Firstly, you can reach out to me over my Instagram here. Just come, add me as a friend, drop me a little message as well. Secondly, you can come to my LinkedIn profile and actually just add me as a friend there. Send me a message as well, just explaining who you are. I do get like a lot of spam messages on these different platforms. So just make sure like you're saying, I saw your video, because the amount of people who just pitch me random nonsense is pretty crazy, honestly. Um, but that's the best ways to actually Actually reach out to me. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you can see how useful it is as well. Um, and take care. See you in the next one.